All right, this is a tree sketch that I did in Rebel. I'm going to change up a little bit on this video. Usually I'm painting in uh, Sketchbook Pro, um, but uh, there are other softwares out there. From time to time, I like to include them. I like this software a lot. One, like Sketchbook Pro, it's very easy to use. Pretty much straightforward. Um, this is, and this for this sketch, I'm using the acrylic brush, which is a very nice brush. All the brushes on Rebel are very realistic in terms of their um, their real life counterparts. You see in this brush, you see a lot of paint texture, a lot of globs of paint, and it's a uh, it's very nice to to use, and it's uh, the effect is very very much like uh, like using um, acrylics itself. Um, it can fool the eye in terms of uh, so when someone sees the image, they might think that it's done in traditional media rather than in digital media. Now, um, pretty much, I'm, I'm painting this straightforward. I'm not doing a lot of uh, switching from uh, different layers and so forth. I can do that, but um, it, 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 there's a kind of fun in this application where you can pretty much use it. It really feels like you're using uh, the actual materials, the actual real life counterparts. Um, it mimics it so well. And um, so anyway, this is this is just a sketch I did. I, I took a photo of this tree in my neighborhood some time back. And from time to time, I use it as a, as a warm up, uh, just something to do um, and something to, to, to test uh, different software on. I'm, I'm really can't say that I'm, I'm an expert at this software. I'm, I'm uh, learning about it as I go along. Um, I don't you know, I don't feel like. I'm not afraid to dive right in and, and um, find out about the application and, and uh, mess up an image or two or three or five or ten or whatever, just as long as I'm learning something. And um, this is pretty much easy. It's, it's almost as easy as uh, opening up a box of paints and putting them on my palette and, and, and uh, just uh, getting the image down on a canvas. Uh, it's, it's easy. It's, it's enjoyable. Um, like I said, I don't use a lot of uh, uh, tricks to get the image. I'm just trying to get used to the paint and the, the paint application. Now, the thing is about Rebel is um, th there's some great things. And, and of course, in everything, there's some drawbacks. Um, one of the things is that you have to, um, when you open up, the image, and I'll show this on the next video I do on Rebel. You you have choices as far as uh, how large you can make the image. I this is a 10 by 15 inch, inch image, uh, 300 DPI. Now what happens is when you start running, it, it worked well with the acrylic. It's not too bad, it's uh, or, or difficult at all. And uh, um, but when you use other brushes like watercolor. It starts to slow down. Um, the image is going black on me, and then it comes back up. And you know, it, it's uh, you. You have to be careful about the size of the image. And of course, there's also how much your computer can take. So it's a, it's a combination of things. Um, the the software itself, and um, you know how much your your computer can, how much uh, information your con your computer can take as at once. So mine's probably doesn't have enough RAM memory. Um, I have eight gigs, which is okay. You know, of course, uh, um, someone would say, "Hey, go for sixteen or or more," but um, it's what I have right now. So. Um, that's just something to keep in mind when using this software that, you know, you really need a computer that, that um, is a little bit more robust than the one that I have. Uh, but other than that, I mean, the software, it, it's pretty much easy to use. I recommend this software like Sketchbook Pro for someone who's just getting started painting in digital media and, and you know, has uh, worked more in traditional media and wanted some, somehow to jump in and find something that that uh, that they feel comfortable with 
as a jumping off point. And then as you go on, you can, uh, you know, you can learn more about Adobe software and other, other, uh, digital media to use, but, um, pretty much this will get you an image. It'll get you, uh, something close, closer to what you're used to than, um, other software can provide. Um, that, you know, there's other software that does similar or same things, except for the watercolor brush. I think the watercolor brush on Rebel is really unique. Um, and like I said, I'll, I'll demonstrate that and I'll also demonstrate, uh, opening up an image on, on another video in, in the future. But, um, for right now, this is just an introduction into their, their acrylic brush, um, very neat to use, very easy to use. If you're used to painting traditionally, this will um, this won't be too big of a jumping off point. Um, recommend, like I have, I, I have a tablet that I draw on. I have a, a monoprice uh, monitor, which is a tablet with a pen that I, I can draw on. So it comes closer to painting or drawing on a traditional surface rather than don't I wouldn't try this on a mouse although some people have done very beautiful pieces with just the mouse um, but you know if you're used to working traditionally you're going to want a tablet and um, you're going to prefer a tablet and I, I for the life of me wouldn't want to use a, a, a mouse it's, it's just not fun you know this this to me is a lot more like what I'm used to so anyway, that's pretty much it. I enjoyed using this. I will make more uh, videos regarding this software. Um, and I'll put a link below to the uh, website to, for, for uh, Rebel. It's a very inexpensive software. Enjoy and thank you. All right, well, we're just about coming to the end of this video. I just did this video. And one, as a sketch. I, I, I love sketching in these digital programs. And two, just uh, as a video to show the potential this program has for making great images that mimic the real life tools. Um, it was This was just intended as a sketch. And I, what I did was I cropped the, the sides here, which is what I intended to do for the final image, which is right here. I also want to make everyone uh, aware that I have some books available, two on the Blurb website. This one is Sketches, Drawings, and Paintings done in 2016. The other one is a collection of drawings done for Inktober in 2015. I have this available on Blurb. I also have available on PAC website my book on Painting and Sketchbook Pro that is available in print and in digital and is also digital on iTunes. So I will have links to that. I greatly appreciate you guys taking a look at it. It would go a long way in helping me do what I do and support what I, uh, the painting that I do. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.